you the fight over new curriculum and textbook standards for 5 million Texas students is not over yet. Nope, the State Board of Education ramped up discussions again today, and they're taking heat from concerned parents who think the new proposed curriculum is too political. We continue our coverage live from downtown Austin, where KXAN's Natalie Stroll is standing by. So, Natalie, a vote is not expected until Friday. That's right, Sally, and the Texas State Board of Education is facing a very long day today. Only three people have stepped up to speak so far on the proposed changes to social studies and history curriculum. 206 people are on the list to testify today on the much-debated curriculum. The board is in for more than 10 hours of testimony. The tone so far is one of debate, with each speaker answering the board's questions for more than 10 minutes. In March, the board gave a tentative approval to a more traditional conservative approach to education. It has received a lot of criticism from people who feel the changes are too ideological and not sensitive enough to minority contributions to state history. Today's first speaker commended the board for recognizing the Judeo-Christian influence on U.S. history. Another called for an accurate history without being influenced by the board's political leanings. And the third pointed out inconsistencies, calling for experts to go over the curriculum. The Texas Freedom Network is concerned that the so-called skewed sense of history and government will harm the state's children. Others say the curriculum is fair and balanced. We're deeply concerned that this board wants to deny the influence of Thomas Jefferson on Enlightenment thinking around the world, deny that the separation of church and state is a key principle of our Constitution. We're concerned that the board is diminishing the struggles of women and minorities in struggling for civil rights. And now, the curriculum will set the standards for teaching history and social studies for 4.8 uh, million public students for 10 years, and that will be used also to develop state tests. Textbook publishers will also be using the materials across the country since Texas is one of the largest markets. Now, coming up in the second half hour, we'll have more on the curriculum's supporters, and more debate is also possible tomorrow. The State Board of Education's final vote could come as early as Friday. In downtown Austin, Natalie Stoll, KXAN Austin News. All right.